So in our last program, in our last tutorial, we created a, an idea that we could increase score uh, for either um, when we press the space bar. So if I press the space bar, I've got a bad graphics window color, it increases to five. You might be able to just about see. And when the ball hits the side, it also increases the score to the value of six in that case. So what I'm going to suggest we do now is look at ways that we can use the mouse. The mouse is similar in a lot of ways to the key presses. However, um, there are extra steps involved um, and some other um, common misconceptions, one of which took me a very, very long time to solve. So I'm hopefully going to save some of you a lot of time here. So let's just start basically with whenever the key, the mouse is pressed. So we can go to, there's a whole separate mouse command. So mouse dot. And you can check to see if the left button is pressed, if the right button is pressed. We can get or set the um, mouse's X position, the mouse's Y position. We can choose to show the cursor or hide the cursor. And that's all the tools we get for mouse. Interestingly, this getting the mouse's X position is very different to if we do graphics window dot mouse X. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to show you that now. So previously we um, created something that said um, score equals. I'm going to change that so that it now does mouse x equals mouse x equals. I'm going to um, change it so that when we hit the side um, we don't change the value up. And I'm going to change the sub. So rather than being called increase score, um, I'm just going to call it display x. You don't have to do this along with me. I'm doing this as um, an example. So this code will display our x coordinate. So we want to want to do that all the time, constantly updating what is being displayed as the x coordinate um, mouse x equals so in here I'm just going to say um, display x so all that's doing is displaying the x coordinate um, now I don't want to increase anything to that and I don't want to write the user score I actually want to write and I'm going to do here mouse dot mouse x and show you how this works. So we just write down the mouse's x location. Okay. So let's just have a um, a run of that. Oh, we've got a few errors. So line 13. So always the problem when you try and edit code. Uh, we've got this space for increased score. Um, so I'm just going to take that out for the moment. We will go back to our old code later on. Line two. Oh, I've got an empty mouse line. So all we've got hopefully now is a way of constantly displaying the mouse's X location. Now you notice that it changes every time I move the mouse. So it says 139 at the moment. If I move it to the left, it shows as 51. If I move it up here, 29. And you notice when I move it to the top left corner of the screen, it displays as um, one, which is as close to the uh, furthest x I can go. And of course, if I move my mouse across the screen, 453, 1,200-ish, and right across, we can see my screen width is about 1,200. Uh, sorry, it's about 1,920. So that just displays the mouse x. Notice it's not relevant to where the graphics window is. So this is 575. So what I really want to do, because I'm working within my game, I really want it to display not the location compared to my whole monitor, but my location compared to just the game window. So to do that, I'm going to change the line of code that says uh, display x to be, rather than display mouse.mousex, we're going to display graphics window.mousex. And this is very, very different. So now we're displaying where we are in terms of the graphics window. Notice if I'm off the graphics window, nothing is changing. But as soon as I move my mouse into the graphics window, 
we can see when I go to the top left corner of the graphics window, I can get to the zero point and move across to our full width uh, over here, 636 or whatever it is. So you can see how the graphics window X and the mouse X is a very different value. Having said that, we could um, now go back to our concept of knowing how the mouse works and see if we can uh, make it so that we increase our score when we click in maybe the top corner of the window or when we click in the bottom left corner of a window. So to do that, I'm going to say um, we'll go to uh, we'll undo, I think, until we get back to where we were. So we're back to where we were previously with um, just our score being displayed and no um, mouse elements included. So at the moment our ball can hit the side and it just increases our score by one. I'm going to create a new way of increasing our score by having it that we can click maybe in the bottom left corner of the screen and it will allow our score to go up. So to do this um, I think we'll start with just clicking the mouse. So like we had graphics window dot key down, we can have graphics window dot mouse down. Now you notice we can also trigger if the mouse were to be moved or mouse were to be um, lifted up, but I'm going to use mouse down. If you want to be more specific about using your left and right mouse clicks, you can again if we look back at the mouse, oops. If we look at mouse dot mouse down, um, sorry, you've got is left button down and is right button down, so you can be specific about which mouse button you press. Both work fine. I'm just going to stick with any mouse button for now. So graphics window dot mouse down equals um, I'm going to call this where clicked. So I had a which key and now I'm going to have my where clicked sub, so sub where clicked. And in this sub I'm just going to say, actually I'm just going to make it if you click for now. I'm not going to worry about where the location is, so I'm just going to say if you do click we'll increase the score, which was the sub that we created from the last tutorial. And sub. Oops and sub. And if we run that now, hopefully a mouse click will now make our score go up as well. So if I click, sure enough it does. Um, and if I right click, score go up as well, and of course I can mouse press still as well. So this works perfectly. What about if we want to choose a certain location? So we need to really check to see if mouse is clicked in a certain place. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, let's say, uh, let's check for the top corner. So if we know that mouse has been clicked, so if the mouse is X position, now again, if I do mouse.mousex, X, we're going to get the whole screen's um, X position. I don't want that. I want the graphics window's X position. So graphics window dot mouse X. And if its X position is, we'll say, less than hmm, 100. So we've got to be less than 100 pixels from the top left, which means if this was our graphics window, 100 pixels across, we must be the mouse must be less far than that. So it's got to be in one of these positions running down. So if the graphics window mouse X location is less than 100, then we'll increase the score. We better end our if. Notice I'm not doing anything with Y just yet. Moving across. So if I click here, you notice now nothing happens. 
the only score increase was when the ball hit the side. However, if I click here, nothing. 100 pixels, not quite sure how big that is. Probably around here, I'll probably find that I do increase my score. Yeah. 100 pixels being approximately this wide, but I'm not 100% sure. Of course, I can click down here as well. As long as I'm 100 pixels, less than 100 pixels. So anywhere across here, if I keep clicking, we'll find out where 100 stops. Oh, 100 is wider than I thought. Ah, there. So that's where the 100 boundary is. So you can see when I am less than 100 and when I'm greater than 100, it doesn't do anything. I could also do it so it has to be in this top corner. So it has to be uh, less than 100 on the Y axis as well. So if graphics window dot mouse X is less than 100 and um, graphics window dot, oops, and the graphics window dot mouse y, so the y location of the mouse is less than 100 as well, then, so we're using our boolean expression of and here, oh, we don't want two thens, that's going to confuse things, we'll run that, and now the mouse x has to be less than it, less than 100, and less than 100 on the y as well, so if I click here now nothing happens, if I click around here, nothing happens. And then when I click into this box, we do get our increase in score. Um, so that works just as we wanted it to, which is really nice. We could also have a check to see if we're clicking on the ball. And this is where you can see that we could make a splat the rat kind of game, where the ball's moving around. Or if you've ever played that really, really terrible game on uh, the internet called uh, Cookie Clicker, um, same kind of concept. So we're going to go and say another if. I'm going to say else if. Now this is where it's going to get complicated. We're going to check on the location of the ball. This is not simple stuff. Um, and it's also the idea that I used to create the idea of um, Flappy Bird in another tutorial. So we've got our ball here. Um, that we've worked with previously. Now we need to make sure that the mouse's position is, in terms of x, it's greater than um, this line here that runs all the way up. We need to check that it's uh, less than this line here. So you must be clicking within these boundaries, within these boundary walls. Now if we do that just on the x, we will be able to click anywhere in this column of where the ball is. However, we could also check to make sure the ball is uh, lower than this line and higher than this line. And that way we can check that the user is in fact clicking on the ball. What's the downside to this system? Well, it doesn't make sure that the user doesn't click in these tiny little areas um, outside of the ball. However, I think it's good enough for our purpose. So let's have a go and see if we can test that out. So to start off with, we'll do checking the mouse's x position compared to um, the ball's x position. So we're going to say else if the graphics window's mouse x, so it's mouse x position, is greater than the ball's x position. Now we call that circ. So I can just say bigger than circ x. I can also say, and we must be clicking less than circ um, x plus the width of the ball. Bearing in mind that we know that the circle's x position is here, if we add the width of the ball, we can check that it must be less than this line, which is again the x position plus the width of the ball, and it's going to be less than that value. So let's try doing that. And graphics window dot mouse x. is less than circ x plus the ball size, circ size. And again, I don't need to remember the size of the ball because I've created it in a variable, which makes things so much easier. Then we'll also increase the score. So 
So now I can click anywhere in the boundaries that the, the ball is in, in terms of its X location. What this should mean is I can click anywhere in the column where the ball is. So I sh click here, nothing happens. When the ball comes into the column of where my mouse is, you notice that I can get point scores for that. I want it to be so only if I click on the ball and not just anywhere in the column. So I now need to look at the Y position of the ball as well. So looking back at our diagram, I need to check that it's greater than the uh, circle's Y position and less than the circle's Y position plus the size of the ball. So let's go and have a go at doing that. And this is going to be the longest statement I think we've written so far. Graphics window. Dot mouse Y. Must be less, oh sorry, greater than. I've got to be very careful with your symbols here. Um, circle Y. to move our window across a little bit here. So that's going to make sure it must be lower than the top of the ball. And we also need to make sure it's higher than the bottom of the ball. So I'm going to copy this, and which is always a, a very possible way of making a mistake. And the mouse's Y position is less than the circle Y position plus the circle size. Now this is by far the hardest thing we've done by quite a long way. But if you've got your head around that just a little bit, you've done very, very well. So let's run this again and just see whether, when we click on the ball, whether um, this trigger works. Yeah, if I click above the ball, it no longer does. If I click below the ball, nothing. If I click on the ball, and I can increase my score.